Hello, everyone, back to another video. I'm definitely showing you how to do simple character renders with Roblox characters in Blender. Um, it's very simple, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. So, what you're gonna need for this is Roblox Studio and Blender, obviously. Then you're gonna need Moon Animator or something to import characters, and something you can position the characters like arms and legs, whatever, manually, or you can download the old Moon Animator and you, to use the weld edit thing. So you can like easily move it. So that's all you're gonna need now. I'll leave the link to the uh, new and old moon animator in the uh, uh, description. So I'm gonna use my character for this. So just go to character inserter, inserter insert uh, a user. And then I'll just do R6 for this. Then make sure the character is at the origin position, which is just zero, zero, zero. So just go to like humanoid root part and set the position to like zero, zero, zero. And then just move it up. So it's like on the base plate, just like that. Now let's just say I want him to do like a little wave. I'll put the arm up like this and then the arm out and move it up like that. Move this arm down, back, and probably like move the legs out a little bit. I'm gonna move them up just a little bit and then rotate it to the side. And say move his head probably like like that. Yeah. Now this is gonna be my character that I'm gonna render in Blender. So um all you have to do is just right click on it in the uh workspace and then click export selection and then uh, I'll just I'll just put it at uh I'll just put at images for now. It doesn't really matter where you put it. And then just name it whatever you want. I'll just do it. Uh tutorial render model. And then save it. Now you have to open Blender. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you have Blender open, um you're gonna see the default cube here. You can delete that by just selecting it and then pressing X and then click delete. Now, if you're using default render, I mean default blender controls, then to move your character is just going to be simply shift and then, uh, I don't know the name of the key, but I'll put it on screen right here. It's just shift and then that, and then you'll be able to free cam move your camera around like that. But first, you want to go to file, import, and then uh, wavefront obj, and then go to where you, um, go to where you exported your model at so i exported mine to images so i'll just go to desktop and then images see right here tutorial render model dot obj not the mtl one and then click import obj and then you can go ahead and move over to it you can move your you can use your scroll wheel to move faster so right now it has no texture but if you go up here to the top right corner you see these two little icons this is a uh, viewport shading and then this is like the final render so let's just go ahead and click the last one like that now as you can see the character is kind of transparent and this is uh, this is going to happen because you imported it from roblox so to fix this you'll see your character right here just open this down arrow and then click on the uh, the, the part right here that has like the little green icon and then go over here to material properties and then scroll down to uh settings and then make sure the blend mode is on opaque and then the shadow mode is also on opaque and then now it'll fix your character so it is not you know transparent now let's go ahead and delete the default light and then to add to add an object you just want to press shift plus a and then um go to light and then point so then that's that adds a point light for us and then we can go to the move tool on the left right here just move it up and the power is really low right now. So if you go to like on the right, right here, where it says object data properties, it'll show like a little light icon. Uh, you can change the power. I'll change this to like 5,000. And it'll be like that. It's very bright, but that's because it's like right in his face. So I'll move it like, I'll move it like this maybe. So maybe I just want the light like that. You can move the light however you want. You can also add multiple lights depending on like how you want your render to be. Um, I'll put a render on screen that I did recently 
that's how the lighting for that one was. Uh, I only use one light for that. Okay, now, okay, I'll put the light down here, like facing, you know, the bottom right. Now, to render this, we need to set our camera. So on the right side of your screen right here, you'll see a little button that says toggle camera view. You want to click that, and then your camera will be, uh, like, in this little, in this little frame right here. So next, you want to go over here to uh, where it says output properties and then set resolution X to probably like 2000 and then Y to 2000, not 200, 2000. And then it'll be like a perfect little area for your character. Now just position, position this wherever you want it. I'll put it like down here facing, you know, like, like at an angle. Now, finally, if you want the background to be transparent so you can use it for other stuff, you can go over here to uh, render properties, scroll down to film, and then click transparent. And then now finally, go up to the top left corner, click render, and then render image. And then it'll render the, the image like this. The background will be transparent so you can put it in like Photoshop or whatever to add a background and stuff like that. If you need help with any of this, you can join my Discord server, link in the description below, and I'll be happy to help you with this. Or um, if you have a video suggestion, just leave it in the comments below. And yeah.